Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today we're doing a reading focus on what are your person's current feelings for you. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Sorry. I, I'm. It's, these are the bonus readings. I'm only doing um, a few signs, but I'm pretty sure that's the topic I'm doing. Uh, no, I love you. No, I care. No, you mean the world to me. And let's get started. I, I do want to let you all know, everyone, there is an extended to this reading. If you're interested in purchasing the extended, you can check it out in the comment or description section. Um... I, I don't know what we're covering the extent. I actually, I, I got to look. Anyway, um, if you hear that meowing, it's just my kitty. He's always um, protecting me and my home. Uh, anyway, so let's look at like the overall energy surrounding your connection right now with this person. Just make sure you have the right reading um, and then take it from there. All right. So what is the overall energy surrounding the connection? Like what is what's going on um, uh, for you? We have the three of cups. Interesting. Hmm. Do you know... Um, when you go out and you have fun and you are hanging out with friends, uh, it, it, it's uh, obviously it's fun, right? Obviously it's exciting. Obviously there is um, there's something to be had there, but at the same time, I feel here, um, uh, Cancer, there, there's a little bit of trying to distract oneself from, I want to say the the connection itself or this person themselves, right? It's not that. Um, you don't want to hang out with your friends. It's not that you don't have fun when you do. It's not that this there isn't fulfillment here. There is, right? But there is a little bit, right? I feel like maybe it lurks within the shadow um, that you're actually hanging out with them, uh, uh, I feel, to either distract yourself from this person or um, or to keep yourself from from like contacting them or something like that. All right. I know it was crazy, but it's what I got. Right. We have the two of cups for how, for this person's current energy. And it also came out with the five of swords. So I don't know who's who, but I'm guessing you're here. I'm guessing they're here. This person is very heartbroken over the splits. Um, they're very heartbroken over how things ended and it's hitting them really hard. I feel like they're stuck at home, uh, uh like, you know, crying, um, a uh, uh, very much feeling uh, the emptiness, right? Or very much feeling the separation while you are doing everything you can not to feel that feeling. Does it make sense? I hope that makes sense to all of you, right? Um, I think you are, um, are going out, doing your thing, but you there's a little bit of this. There's a little bit of this, right? Distracting yourself from that. They are going all in on that. One thing, um, I will say this, and this is actually probably the most true thing that you can hear right now, but we deal with these things, these energies, these feelings at different points in our journey, right? At different times. I remember I did mine right away, right? I, I understood that my person was going to do theirs later, right? Um, I feel like that could have been the case, right? Maybe you already did yours, right? Maybe you already uh, 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 dealt with it. Maybe you went full throttle and now you're free of it. And now it's their turn. Maybe it's vice versa. I don't know, right? But I do know that we tend to do these things at separate points in our journey. Um, and I want to say <laughs> at different different times than the other person. One thing that I feel a lot of us tend to struggle with is that projection, right? We're always trying to project, well, I went through this, they must have, right? Not necessarily. In fact, they may have actually, uh, they may be doing it way later. But whatever the case is, this person stuck at home Um. I want to say eating chips, watching TV, um, uh, lounging around, right? Uh, really feeling the heaviness of, of the separation while you are going out and partying, right? You're having fun. Um, you're connecting with people. Um, but there is a little bit of distraction here, right? I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing, but... Um, uh, this can come back to bite you, right? If you're not, um, if you don't face it, right? Um, or face the things you need to face. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, uh, when the time pops up, uh, universe step forward uh, to tell you, Cancer, that it will pop things up in your awareness whenever you're ready, um, whenever it, it's the right time, and deal with the head on there. But what you're doing, not necessarily bad, right? But I can tell, I can tell you're going out, they're staying in. Real funny. And anyway, with the Six of Cups being the center card or the connecting energy, um, both you and them have nostalgic feelings towards the other. Um, I feel sorry, my dog was like, I heard him like chewing something. Anyway, I, I feel like some of you's the nostalgic comes from past lives, but it doesn't just come from a past life. I feel like it comes from this, ex this ex existence, right? This current consciousness and both you and them are, um, 
are uh, both you and them are like missing each other, right? I feel like the memories you shared together, the exchanges that you had together, the pleasantness as well, the eye contact stands out to me the most as well. Um, with the overall also being the king of swords reverse, neither one of you really knows if this connection is, has a future, right? If there's legs to it, right? Um, do you know when there's a wagon and then a wheel pops off? Like, can you fix it? I don't know, right? You know, it's it's like, maybe. I feel like both you and them are in this energy. Like, I don't know if this can be fixed. I don't know, right? But maybe. Um, it, it's not it's not absolutely <laughs> done, done, right? No one's come to that one yet, right? No one's come to that conclusion yet. But at the same time, neither one really knows that there is, if there's a future here as well. And this is kind of where your connection lies, right? Um, I feel like you either are over the worst of it, or you've never faced it, right? They're in the worst of it. So whatever the case is, it don't matter. But I see this is as your, you know, for the overall energy surrounding you and this person. Um, uh, moving, I feel, would be helpful as well. Like maybe... Um, Maybe going dancing or maybe having fun. That's also being key. But the Six of Cups is reversed here. Both of you are looking to get back what was lost, right? Whether or not you're willing to admit that at the moment. Um, I can tell this person needs a little bit more of that healing, by the way. A little bit more of that uh, as well. Um, they didn't see the balance um, of cancer. They didn't. Um, they now do, right? This person now gets it. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, I just realized I'm doing this. Oh, uh, I... Anyway, um, I, I just realized I'm doing this. Uh, I'm not doing this on StreamYard like I normally do. Um, it, is, it is fine, but it doesn't let you know that. Let's see. So can you tell me for um, cancer, how does this person currently feel about cancer? I actually want to know this person's intentions. I, I, I feel like that's a key one, uh, mostly because neither one of you knows if there is a future here between you and this person. This is our first card. Um, uh, tell me more about this person's intentions for cancer, and then we'll look at their feelings. The first card we have is going to be the Magician. Interesting. Um, you see this? This this it's like a shooting star right here. You know, I don't know, but I feel like when you you know when you have those moments in life where it's like blow out the candles and make a wish, or see a shooting star and make a wish, right? I feel like that's the moment that I feel has more clarity in it than you could imagine. And I know it's the craziest thing. What do you wish for when you see a shooting star? What do you wish for when you're blowing out candles? Um, uh, I feel like that's how you can know if, uh, it, uh, sorry, if this connection has uh, it has a future. And I know it's crazy to say um, it's that moment, that, that moment. You know when you go in and you close your eyes and you make the wish? You know what I'm talking about. That is the moment um, that I feel is the key um, to knowing if there is going to be a future here or not, all right? Look at this person's, in, like, like, what are this person's intentions when it comes to cancer? Uh, the first one we have is going to be the five of wands. They're not sure. Um, they're not sure. They, they, they want some stuff, right? But I feel like this person hasn't fully made up their mind. In my experience, um, the blocks, the restrictions, these, uh, these things kind of obscure our view about what we want, what we desire, even how we feel about someone. I feel like until this is resolved, until they have absolute, uh, they've healed it absolutely, right? Um, this person won't actually know the truth about how they feel about you and what they ultimately want with the situation, all right? By the way, if you can hear, like, chewing, uh, it's just my dog. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, we have here the Knight of Wands as well. Mm -hmm. I see that, that, little, that little fiery stick right there. Um, they do find you very attractive, but their intentions right now, I feel, are to focus on themselves, focus on their passions, and focus on what um, moves them. You know, um, I'm going to just throw this out there, Cancer. I'm just, I don't even know how to phrase this, but I'm going to just throw this out there to you. But you know what, like, if someone has never gone through a heartbreak, like, they've never gone through it, and they're going through it for the first time, and they're just having a real difficult time, that's them. I mean, it's it's them in a nutshell. It's like, I've never did this. I, 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 don't, I know it sounds crazy, but it, it's like, there's a part of them that's just, that's just coming to the surface that is complaining, is angry, is frustrated, uh, it, it's uh, uh, just you know, wanting to throw a tantrum. I got to be honest with you. It's all of that in a nutshell. Um, I don't know if this person's ever had a heartbreak before or ever had one person or ever had a person that's made them feel um, the energy of that heartbreak, right? Um, but you seem to have done it to this person and they're just like, they're, ha they're, they're literally, I feel, having a fit <laughs> uh, right now. We also have the Three of Swords. 
words. Yes, this is some healing. Um, but it's almost like it's too much for them right now. It's like too much. And this person just doesn't know how to deal with that. And the last card we have is the Nine of Swords and it's reverse. They would love nothing more than to run from this. Um, uh, like, like, uh, uh, like, I want to say uh, run from this, um, get away from this, or um, honestly free themselves of this, but they can't. Um, with the page, sorry, the page of cups in its reverse, this person has to deal with it, right? If they want to feel better, they have to face what they have to face. But again, it's like, I don't know, um, you know, when you're like, when you have a, like a son and you're just seeing them go through their first heartbreak and it's just like, wow, that's how you handle it. That's, that's, that, that's this person right here. Not saying they're a man or, or, you know, a son or a daughter or anything like that, but it's like, it's like that. Like, he's like, wow, this is how you're going to handle it. It's their first one. And, you know, give them a break. But I can tell that this person is struggling, struggling a little bit. They're in struggle city. All right. Three of swords here. They are healing. Um, I, I want to say it's a slow. Um, oh, I do want to say that uh, with the page of cups being here and the 10 of coins, um, you know, when it's when you when you start to it starts to sink in, right? Like it's like, oh, my God, what did I do? Who did I do it to? That's actually it, by the way. Who did I do it to? Not what did I do? Who did I do it to? You know who they did it to, Cancer. You already know. Right? You already get it, right? You already understand who they did it to. And this person is now trying to figure out how to handle the situation. Again, um, uh, there's a bit of like a, uh, like, a, like a tantrum going on here, all right? Um, with the Magician being the first card and the Nine of Swords being here, um, I got to be honest, I keep seeing the pumpkins. I feel like a fairy godmother. I got to be real honest with you. I'm just going to say it, right? Uh, could be person, place, or thing, but fairy godmother is coming in to help them a little bit with this and to free them of this. Um, they are gonna, they're going to get relief. Sweet relief is actually what I want to say with that one. Um, it may be in October. I'm seeing the pumpkins here. It's kind of reminding me of pumpkin spice um, latte. I got to be honest with you. But I'm seeing October maybe uh, probably being this person's uh, uh, definitely a lot better. But um, it's cl clear, clear to me, um, uh, uh, a cancer, that someone's going to come in and save them from this. Uh, they need a little help. They need a little extra help. I do feel this person needs a little patience as well. Whoever they have around them, not the best. Right? They're not giving this person patience. They're not giving them grace. They're not giving them, um, I want to say, forgiveness or even understanding what they're going through. I remember when I went through my own, I went head on because, well, that's just what you do. And um, I remember um, understanding very quickly um, uh, that everyone around me just wasn't going to understand it. They just weren't. They were never going to get how painful it was. I feel like that's part of it. It was part of what this person is going through. People don't get how painful it is um, uh, for them. And they're not really finding, um, I feel, a, a, a shoulder, right? You know, a shoulder to lean on, to cry on. And uh, I feel like that may be, um, for some of them, that may be what they, they miss most about you. Right? I feel like you were that for this person. Maybe not, but um, I'm going to leave it like that. I saw that, you know, oh, I, wait, did I, I shuffled it in? If you saw that ten of coins, there was like um, you can go rewind it. Um, uh, you know, a woman, uh, you know, um, uh, rubbing that man's shoulders. All right, let's see. So, how do they currently feel about can about cancer? Then, how does this person currently feel about cancer? Cancer viewers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does this person currently feel about the cancer viewers? Last one. We have the Moon reverse. They see it now. Yeah. Uh, with the page of wands, it's reverse. You know. Um, I have a scene in my mind, Cancer. It is, it is what it is. I just give it. You know when like there's like a child and they're like scared of the dark, and um, you know they have a nightlight, and then they just they have a uh, you know a grown up to snuff out the light, and they have to like sit in that darkness a little bit. That's where they're at right now, mentally, emotionally. I don't know. Um, it, it feels like they're facing some stuff in that shadow. Anyway, um, let's take a look here. So Cancer, Cancer, how does this person currently feel about Cancer? We have the Seven of Cups. This is all about, you know what this one is, those those um, uh, uh, those genie in the bottle, right? This person sees you as wish fulfillment, right? Um, I feel here they didn't appreciate it. You know, think of what it takes to get like a wish like that, right? Nothing, right? You know, um, how much can one appreciate that moment? I appreciate a person, right? When they just pop up in your life rather than you working to get them, right? I feel like that's somewhat to, uh, somewhat the case here with that seven of cups here. Uh, we also have the four of swords and it's reverse. Um, and it came out with the nine of wands. I feel like with the four of swords reverse, this is... Um, 
you know, um, when you look back, you you like would have done it differently. It's more like I wouldn't have held back. I would have did this. I would have tried this. I would have said this. Um, I feel like this person may have been really resistant. Um, by the way, my kitty only comes for those special readings, by the way. He's been coming a lot. I don't know. Everyone's special. I don't know. Maybe. I guess so. But um, I feel like this person really wished they hadn't held back, right? Um, you know what's crazy about this? I'm just throw this out there. Some of you, I swear, it feels like when you were healing with the connection, they were avoiding this connection. Um, and now they're kind of feeling that that feeling that they're left behind. Um, with the Nine of Wands here, I, I, I got to be honest with you. You know, um, Nine of Wands is, and his upright is about holding firm, standing firm. They may have felt too stubborn around you or it may have felt too rigid, right? Um, Nine of Wands, though, sorry, I want to give you what I re I'm really getting. I mean, let me just scratch at this, okay? Hi, baby. Um, I feel like they didn't want to admit anything, and now they're sitting here having to admit it um, the hard way, right? Um, uh, anyway, we have here the King of Coins. Thank you, baby. And the last card we have is going to be the Eight of Wands. All right. When this person is more stable... When they're um, uh, in a, at a better place, I swear it feels like October, um, they're going to come in and um, and say stuff to you. Communication will come. I, I feel like you will hear from this person. Um, oh, Cancer. With the Queen of Swords in its reverse, um, hmm. one, they could be waiting for you to cool off a little bit, right? Um, maybe, maybe not. There's some strategy there, obviously. Uh, but the Queen of Swords and Traverse, they don't want to get their um, head chopped off. They don't want to uh, go through any more pain. I feel like this person uh, may be pulling back. Um, what's interesting, I, I feel like that surrendering of the connection or letting go of the connection or um, um, not fighting it anymore allowed them to feel some pain they were missing. Um, that's what I feel here. It's like they, they didn't feel the pain of the connection right away, and now they're feeling it, and they're not really understanding what that Queen of Swords and Traverse. Sorry, I just, uh, this, I'm just coming to some real interesting conclusions. Anyway, they're not understanding what that Queen of Swords and Traverse, um, that there was way more pain here than they thought, all right? Uh, with the Emperor being here, mm, they're going to come in stronger than before. Nothing short of that. Like, whoever whoever you are, Cancer, this person understands that it's going to require a full, full, fully being fully upgraded, fully armored, um, fully in their power um, uh, for them to face you and for them not to get cut out or cut down, all right? So let's get some channel messages uh, for your reading, and then I'm going to take this over. I, wait, I think there's going to be an extended. Sorry, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do an extended, but um, sorry, you're reading real funny. Um, can, um, anyway, um, can I get uh, some channel messages, please, for we have um, I've kept so much of myself hidden. Again, I'm so sorry about my kitty. Um, uh, it, it's just life. Anyway, the high priest is here. I do feel with the high priest is being on the table, this person um, did want to reveal more. I feel like that's something that they really wish they hadn't done. Was reveal more, show more. Um, one thing I can feel here, Cancer, is that they, that, that, sorry, they thought if they were to tell you more about themselves, you may not feel the same way about them. I don't know if that's the case. Um, and I feel like this person sitting here wondering if that would have been or wouldn't have been. They don't know either. But what I can tell you with the high priestess here is that um, sitting here with what situation they're sitting with, right? Um, you know, um, uh, with, I don't know, uh, I want to say, sorry, my kitty. Um, uh, they, you know, they had nothing to lose at this point, right? You know, considering where your connection is at right now and in reality, hiding themselves or not telling you the truth about everything, um, they had nothing to lose in the end, right? Um, they should just went with it, right? We have make you jealous. Um, this person may have a side that may try to get your attention, uh, all right? We have uh, this feels so hopeless. Um, this person chose to leave the connection behind and in doing so, it allowed enough space, enough room to feel the pain of the loss of you and that's what they're feeling right now. And we have I'm not ready to share. There's something about this, um, about this person not ready to share something they i don't know they they i feel like um hmm, i'm gonna leave it like that i can tell this person kept some stuff from you and now they you know it, it's funny uh, it, it may it may be the case it may be it may not be but whatever the case is i feel like this person wished they had shared more with you with this um i go home all to myself this is that hermit energy i do feel they're alone or i do feel like they have enough time to go deep within the self to really feel their feelings for you and really feel how they feel about all of this all together and they're going to the shoulda coulda woulda stage right I wish I did this instead, or I wish I did that instead. Uh, we get lots of epiphanies in those moments, all right? 
And then the last one we has, I'm scared to face you. This why they have this to face. Um, this isn't this isn't um, a no dog and pony show, right? This is someone who's going to have to. They have to be fully armored, fully in their power, fully um, balanced to to take that on. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there, Cancer. Don't forget to like and comment, and and you know, I'll join me in your extended if you're interested. And take care. Bye.